مصر نظمت خلال الأربع سنين اللي فاتوا 291 فعالية وبطولة ولكن من الأحداث برضو المهمة إن إحنا استضفنا المكتب التنفيذي للوكالة الدولية لمكافحة المنشطات الوادة ومعانا دلوقتي رسالة من رئيس هذه الوكالة مستر ويتولد بانك Professor Dr. Ashraf Skopki, Minister of Youth and Sports, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the World Anti-Doping Agency, I would like to congratulate and express my gratitude to the Sports Expo Conference 2023 organizers. I believe this event, which is held under the patronage of His Excellency President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, can be a unique platform bringing together sports enthusiasts from Egypt and beyond. The World Anti-Doping Agency has always recognized the importance of partnership in the pursuit of promoting sport and its values. Therefore, I'm honored to be able to address you today. It is encouraging that sport is one of the Egypt's top priorities. I learned more about that during last year's meeting of the WADA Executive Committee and Foundation Board held in Cairo in May. Those meetings were a great success and we were hosted by Minister Sobhi and the government of Egypt. I know that the goal of the Sports Expo Conference 2023 is to provide an interactive platform of dialogue to discuss the current and future direction of the sports industry. For sure, it's a good opportunity to drive change through exposure to international best practice and the latest trends. This event will be a chance to listen to one another, reflect on the importance of sport and activity in today's world and promote the new value. And speaking of values, as a former athlete, I know the powerful role sports plays in society. Sport is uniquely beautiful in its ability to unite people, no matter their political ideology, religion, nationality, gender or age but only clean sport. As a society, we must aim to preserve fairness in competition and to protect those who participate in sport from doping, both in professional and amateur sport. It is our, sh it is our shared objective, and I believe that during this conference, there will be a plenty of opportunities to speak about it. We have to remember that the solutions are found not by working alone, but by joining forces by collaborating. I believe that through sports events like this conference, we can raise public awareness about the benefits of physical activity and eventually build a better society, bit by bit and day by day. Thank you once again for the opportunity to address you all today and for your efforts to promote sport and its values.